There is nothing that can compare to a bull elk 30, 40 yards in front of you screaming his head off. It is ultimately the best adrenaline rush there is. We all have one thing in common. We love to call an elk. There's something special about an animal of that size coming in search to find you. This is our style. We bugle, we locate, and then we move in, we close that gap, we close that distance between you and that herd and that bull. We got a bull just bugle just up the ridge here. We're just gonna keep working and quiet. Hopefully they'll keep talking, let us know where they're at. When you get that confirmation of where that bull is, you be the aggressor. You make sure that you move in on him. Try to take his cows away. Once you can do that, that's when that bull gets real upset, and that's when the mistakes happen on his end, not on yours. You control the conversation. Don't let him control it. Once you finally close that gap and the elk are right in front of you, every step becomes crucial. Every sound you make becomes crucial. Ultimately, the decisions you make at this point in the game are going to result in either a successful harvest or nothing at all. We all make mistakes in the field. That's just part of being a hunter. In order to be successful year in and year out, you have to be willing to change your tactics, change the way you hunt, and be willing to adapt. Did you bring any burger, Justin? Uh huh. Huh? Nope. I don't have any elk. Oh, it's beef. It's not elk. I don't have beef. I don't buy beef. I, I kill my food. I didn't buy it. Oh, what are you eating from me? Are you going vegetarian style right now? I just go to McDonald's. Oh. <laughs> kangaroo. I'd like a kangaroo burger. Well, that's our first morning. We just woke up. Uh, we had a late pack in last night. Got up here about 11 o'clock. Wind blew all night long, but we made it work and ready to go hunt out because it's our first weekend. Uh, it's still a little dark out, so let's make some coffee and we'll go after them. Just spotted a good group of elk right in the bottom probably eight or so right now, so can't tell if they're bulls yet, but I'll keep looking at them, see if we can get some better angles on them, and go after them if we got a bull down there. Pretty good sign, opening morning for us, anyways. Yeah, it's like, another one closer. It's like the floors. It's coming down this front left, a little right below us. Right below us.
kind of fed back into the timber and the other one was still bugling. So we dropped in while TJ stayed up and called. He must have just slipped up over the edge and kept going. We never did hear him again. Well, we worked our way down in here. Got around to where the wind was right. We were up at the top. Wind changed, started blowing downhill. Whole herd kind of just walked out of here on us. Must not smell too good, I guess. We're gonna sit here for a little while. It's still early in the evening, so we'll give it a little bit and see if we can round something else up.
eliminates the tracking. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could really see. I could just see your head, and I could just see your. I couldn't even see your bow. That was a good idea, taking on. Come right in. Yeah. You, when it was funny, when I was on his back, I was like, "Boys, take your boots off." Congrats, buddy. Thanks a lot for calling that sucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did something. You're calling it. Found a small herd, made about a 42 yard shot, went about 20 yards, piled up in a really bad spot. We're gonna have fun trying to get them dressed out and out of here.